of Mez New Home was Trees in Somerset, championed by George. This is Trees. The name says it all, really. It's about as natural and beautiful a setting as you can get for what I think could be the perfect contemporary house. It all looks very peaceful now, but the owner-architect had a titanic struggle on their hands to get this beautiful house built. It's a roller coaster. You've started it and you know you've got to get to the end of it somehow, so you're just clinging on there, really, aren't you? I wanted to champion this house because I thought it was a fantastic piece of modernist design and the owners were so passionate about the building. Trees is in a 300-year-old conservation area, so getting planning permission to build an ultra-modern house was no main feat. The conservation area is an area of special architectural or historic interest, or historic, remember the or historic? Or historic, yeah. Yeah, w the character and appearance of which it is desirable to preserve or enhance. Or enhance or the key enhance, phrase there. Absolutely. And, you know, Jim and Becky's proposal certainly enhances the conservation area. Lots of arguments. <laughs> Lots of arguments. <laughs> it's not good having two architects working together and being married. <laughs> they couldn't afford any of the quotes they got from the contractors, so they had to manage the build themselves. And it was at a tricky time because Jim was still working in Cambridge. I had a six-week-old baby and a two-year-old. She would hold meetings with the kids, with the contractors. <laughs> Somehow you just do it. You've got no choice. Jim and Becky bought the land for £310,000. It then took them four years and a further £270,000 to build their house. Jim always says it's the nearest thing that a bloke can have to having a baby. Well, Jim's baby is all grown up and very sophisticated. The materials they used are very natural. Cedar cladding and acres of glass so the house completely blends in with its surroundings. This is a bang-up-to-date modern home that looks like it's been there for years. We wanted the timber to weather with the trees, with the seasons. The copper roof weathers down as well, so it's quietly integrating with the site. This seems quite a sort of monastic, peaceful, tranquil house. It is and very peaceful here, but that's purely because we're bringing in the surroundings, because it's such a peaceful setting. Yeah, I, th I think it's so commendable for a, a contemporary piece of architecture to have that spiritual, calm feeling to it. Trees is a family home to grow into, with a real sense of fun. I think when the, the public have voted for this building, they've seen a proper family home. And normally when you think of family homes, it might be something quite traditional or something straightforward. This was something poetic, something magical. And seeing the kids run around in that building and love their own home so much, I think, swung them completely. It was a winner. Oh, it's just fabulous because it was a really hard slog. We went through a, a lot of stress to actually get the house built. Um, I think it was, a, it was against all odds as well, you know, um, the idea of building a, a modern house in the countryside and it was in an area of outstanding natural beauty and, and conservation area. Uh, everyone said you couldn't do it and we somehow managed to find a way through it. Yeah. So I don't know how they did it. Two architects married, coming up with a design which is really properly resolved. Yeah, and, and they're still married, which is yeah, amazing, yeah, after all of that. And, and, and a building which is very accessible. Yeah. I mean, this is a building which is one of the most beautiful, modernist buildings I've ever seen. It's very poetic. Seriously. No, it really is. It's, it's fantastically done, beautifully detailed, and the perfect family home. The kids adore it, the family love it. It's idyllic. Thank you very much, George. Um, now, the number to vote for trees... The number you need is 09011-213105. That's 09011-213105. Calls cost 25p from a BT landline. Of course, some other networks may vary, and from mobiles will cost considerably more. Good luck, Jim and Rebecca. Now, uh, just to let you know that competition phone lines will be closing in around five minutes' time. So get voting. Here's a reminder of all our finalists competing for your vote as Grand Design's Home of the Year. If you want Black Sheep House to win, call 09011 If Hill House gets your vote, call 09011 If you support Penhuller, the number you need is 09011 If Bletchley Manor is your choice, then dial 09011 213104. 
And if trees is your favourite, it's 090-21-3105. Calls cost 25p from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may vary and from mobiles will cost considerably more. Lines close later in the programme. You've already chosen our category winners, but now it's time to reveal your decision on the best of the best. I know you're all very nervous. I'm not going to prolong this unduly, although I might just... No. Um, <laughs> I can tell you that the Grand Designs Home of the Year 2008 is the Black Sheep House. <laughs> and it's Peter and Christine Pope. Well, we've had an amazing week here in London, Scotland. Thanks to everyone who came down to join us, our experts, Naomi, Janet, George and Dave, and to all of you who voted for Black Sheep House to become Grand Design's Home of the Year. Thank you all. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.